Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Historic Lambeau Field fittingly it butts up against Lombardi Avenue here in the heart of Green Bay, Wisconsin. No team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay. And this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons. The veteran kicker Mason Crosby set to do the honors here. And off we go from Lambeau. He was taken down at the 22-yard line. Atlanta takes the field. Their offensive leader, of course, Matt Ryan, the former Boston College Eagle. This past offseason was one where the Atlanta organization continued to build around their quarterback, Matt Ryan, because he can still throw the rock. Fifth in the NFL in passing yards last year with better than 4,400. He's a guy who knows how to get the ball to his guys on the perimeter and take care of it, even when he's under duress in the pocket. Sacked 48 times last year. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. The intended target was Calvin Ridley, and that'll bring up second down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs gonna throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they got a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell in. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 23 yards on the play. Yeah, I figured they'd try to get the ball to Julio early, and they did it right there. And it doesn't take a degree from MIT to know that, so you had to figure, what's up with the defense? You should know that that's coming right away. Todd Gurley. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. That was all Preston Smith navigating into the backfield. He gets the tackle for loss. Footing's definitely going to be an issue because it's tough to make those quick cuts that you're used to making on a soggy track. In fact, the Hall of Fame runner once told me, cut on your heels in this type of weather. Gives you better balance. Second down. And Jones has it over the middle. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. On fourth down, the Falcons trot out the rookie punter from Syracuse, Sterling Hoffrichter. Tyler Irvin back deep. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. Now we see the Packers coming out, their first drive on offense, and at the helm, as always, 
Their eight-time Pro Bowl quarterback in his 16th season now, Aaron Rodgers. And the question swirled around Green Bay all offseason in free agency and through the draft. Did they acquire enough pieces to help their all-star quarterback, Aaron Rodgers? Just think about the last two years for him. 51 touchdown passes, just six interceptions, and rallied the Packers to 13 regular season wins last year and a trip to the NFC Championship game. He's still one of the top quarterbacks in the league, and the Packers are hoping to to take the next step. On second down, it's Jones. And this time, not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Five men in the secondary now for the Falcons on third down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he gets it to Funches complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. And they're on third and short. They just tried to spread the field. It worked. And I think that the spreading of the field, the extra receivers, has really become the next in the evolutionary chain in the NFL. Go all the way back in that situation, you're handed to the fullback, right? As we evolve, maybe you pitched it to your tailback. Now you spread the field, and you have your choices of where to throw it and complete it for a first down. That play doomed from the start thanks to the defensive effort of Brady Jarrett. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle, and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. Rodgers to throw on second down. He's going to go deep for Funch, and this is caught at the 20. And he takes this thing way down into Atlanta territory. So a little extra on top of the big play there. It's tough for guys rushing the passer, but you have to know when the ball is gone. And if you listen, officials will tell you ball is gone. He didn't pull up. After the penalty, it's Jones. Showed some tough running, but they'll drop him at the five-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yes, yeah, now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. A first carry now. This is Williams. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. They'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown. Aaron Jones taking it in. And the Packers have taken the early lead. Well, they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker, this has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. He was taken down at the 22-yard line. At their own 22-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And last time out, they had to punt the football away. Anything positive possibly to take from that? There always is when, when you're punting the football away. It doesn't sound like it because you're giving it up. But 
you've avoided a mistake. At least you didn't turn it you over. You didn't again. turn it over, right? You're giving it, giving your defense a chance because you're punting the ball away and they're set to go on the field as opposed to sudden change after a turnover. And wow, now we got to go out there and stop people. So yeah, there's always something positive to be gained from it. One quarter in the books here on a Thursday night. Second quarter now, Falcon football. 6-0 is our score. We're back to Lambeau in just a moment. On second down, here's Ryan. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Todd Gurley, and it'll bring up third down. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. On third down, Ryan. And that is incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. On the stop there defensively, Tyler Davison. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. On second down, here's Rodgers. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. It'll be a two-yard game, and they're going to have a third down. A gain of two on the play brings up third and four. To throw is Rodgers. He sets up the screen to Jones. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. The veteran tight end, Mercedes Lewis, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave them with third and still seven yards to go. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. He's got Adams on the hookup. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now that was pretty. They executed that core route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Now Jones. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him early but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Aaron Jones. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Packers add on to their lead. 
There's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives are impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try to get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. The tackle made at the 24-yard line. At their own 24-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Basically, you're not going to outwork two guys very often. Double coverage. I thought he was going to go somewhere else with a football. I get it. That's a stud wide receiver. You want to try to get him the football. Yeah, sometimes you rely on him a bit too much. You forget the other options that are out there. It's complete to Laquan Treadwell. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Now Ryan on first down. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Give him 30 yards there. And I think that's a pretty good illustration of why they try to get the football into his hands out of the backfield. That was something else. And we talk so much from a defensive perspective about scheming and finding ways to take away the run. That means the offense has to devise different ways to get the ball in the hands of their guy out of the backfield. Find open space, let him run, and big things can happen. And they did right there. And his top speed, as computed by Next Gen Stats, not bad. He was pushing 20 miles an hour. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. A first chance in the red zone for the Falcons now. They have a first and 10 at the 18. That's complete right around the eight. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Throwing again, Ryan. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. At the four-yard line. Ryan will throw again. And that one finds the ground, breaking a string of five straight completions. And it brings up second down. No third. Third down. Again, Ryan. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, 
you're in the wrong line of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. Ready to go. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. It's second down and 10. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. To throw again, Rodgers. And this is caught at the 8. And he will reach the 8-yard line before going out. That one goes for 24 yards. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Rodgers to throw once more. Flushed out right. And it's intercepted at the goal line. A great read, and it's picked off. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. His guys take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told it, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. That'll be complete to Alan Lazard. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Rodgers teaming up with Lazard there for a Packer first down. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. So many times, someone's success is the product of a lot of things coming together really well. And for Aaron Jones in 2019, it all came together for him. He stayed healthy, was on the field for all 16 games, got handed the ball 100 more times last year, and as an end result, broke 1,000 yards in a season rushing for the first time in his career. And he's got the first down here and then some, but a penalty flag down. This could very well be coming back. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's That's too bad, game. isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. From midfield, here's Rodgers. 
And that's going to be incomplete. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches. And now it's second down. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown. And now look out, Rodgers lost the football. The pass. A fumble on the play. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but if the other team doesn't get it, that's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. Well, that last completion, certainly not what they were hoping for, is now they'll try to convert on third. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. The pass. A fumble on the play. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? And a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. On second down, Ryan. He's going to float this one deep right side. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. That's caught inside the 20. And he takes it down deep into Green Bay territory. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. From the shotgun, Ryan. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones. They make the grab. And the Falcons have cut it to within a score. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Extra point forthcoming. And he puts it through there within three. It's 13 to 10. Scoring summary. Three play drive. And the Falcons score to cap it off. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Packers ready to take over offensively. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Caught on the right side by Jones. And that play goes nowhere. He's met behind the line, and a penalty flag may add insult to injury. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I'm just going to wonder why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. 
Now a draw play. This is Jones. And he finds enough of an opening to get this one back up to his 20. Down at the 20-yard line. Well, we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Caught on the right side by Adams. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That's a gain of five. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Back now at Lambeau. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. The Packers on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This time it's third and three. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space. Maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and ten at their own 46. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Well, clear running situation, trying to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football, so now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit him over the top. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he's got room. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones, 47 yards. And the pass and six to their lead. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And if you look at the next-gen stats, you'll see that he topped out at an even 21 miles an hour. Extra point try now for Crosby. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. Well, it wasn't a one-play drive, but I think they'll take it. The scoring summary, two plays and into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. field and they will simply Charles be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six and they hope it'll be that easy right to be able to take exactly what happened before replicate it they may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. 
From the gun, it's Ryan. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now, they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive. Good for 15 and the first down. Uh, down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. First down, Ryan. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Foul, roughing the passer, defense. Come on, you serious, dog? So they will accept the penalty and move forward. On first and 10, it's Ryan. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be second down. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. This will be caught inside the 10. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. 23 yards on the play. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, and the blink of an eye, they've got it first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them to attack right here on this play. And he'll be stopped up at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. To throw again is Ryan. Looking left sideline, incomplete. <laughs> Brings up second down and goal to go. So an incomplete pass a moment ago, and that leads to second and goal. From the gun, Ryan. And he comes back with one complete. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Dean Lowry drops him for a four-yard loss there, and that brings up fourth down. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion now. Finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage, or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And his kick here is good. And that will tighten this one up a bit. Now a one-score game at 20-13. to 13. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, I'm playing field position with all three timeouts. I kick it deep and try to pin them back there. And they're on 25 yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. We'll I see, love we'll it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. 
And for the Falcons, five men in the secondary, now on third. Back to throw, Rodgers. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. On now is the Packers punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fair catch called for. No gimme in these conditions, but he's able to look this one in. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Atlanta prepped and readied for its next possession. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Kevin King with a pick. And he'll bring this all the way up to the 45-yard line. Nothing here. Okay, partner. No surprise to you. I'm going to look at this from the defensive perspective. In the rain, you have to be more cautious trying to cover passing routes. Why? The offense knows where they're going with the football. The receiver knows the route he's going to run. You have to make sure you keep your footing underneath you. The Packers looking to get out of here with a win as they take the knee. Rodgers will take a knee here, and that should be all she wrote. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this, you know, every team wants to be physical. We've heard that a million times, right? But those who are mentally tough, those are the teams that you have to deal with in the playoffs. This was that type of a game. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.